thousands of students for decades, but now demolition has begun on Burlington High School. It opened in 1964, and community members are looking back at what the school meant to them. Catherine Huntley joins us live now from the old BHS. Catherine, what did you hear from people today? Well, it might not look like it right now, but deconstruction has already begun inside Burlington High School. They're sort of working from the inside out. Coming up this later this spring and early this summer, it actually will begin to be more visibly deconstructed. But the people I spoke to said, though they're sad it might be coming down, it's the memories that they're going to be holding on to. 78 to 82 and uh, some of the best years of your life here right at the school. Lifelong Burlingtonian Dave Hartnett remembering his time in high school. He's thrilled the new building will be built on the same site as the old building. He says it's important for kids to have that experience of having sports fields so close to the school. We talk about the days at BHS where, you know, you cut class and you went to North Beach on a nice day or, you know, it was just, there's just a lot of good memories here. And uh, I think it, you know, I think a lot of people will be sad to see this building come down, but happy in a sense where it's going to be on site. It's going to be a brand new high school. It's going to be modern for these kids. The nearly six decades saw thousands come through the school doors, like this classroom in 1979, or Burlington's Tech Center with cars being worked on in 1973. We caught up with City Councilor Sarah Carpenter, who entered the school in 1967, just three years after it opened. She says class sizes were so big that the building couldn't accommodate the ninth graders. Very modern at the time, um, great places to roam around. The world's most inaccessible school, but that made it great for teenagers because we could hide out in all the nooks and crannies in the many buildings. So we had a fabulous time, we really did. Plenty of fond memories from those who attended the school on Institute Road. Just last week, ground was broken on the new school, which will be centralized in one building instead of the campus feel of the old buildings. Even staff at the school continue to have fond memories, including the person who ran the snack bar in the 80s and early 90s. I had everything good. I had potato chips, ice cream, sodas, everything that's good for you. Rita Church says it's the kids that made it so enjoyable to come to work each day. It was very nice. It was enjoyable. I loved it because I had already put two students through there. It was very educational. It kept me young. Community members we spoke to were sad about losing the building, which housed so many good memories for them, but they are most excited for the future. In a lot of ways, yes, but I'm very thankful that the new school will be over here, and we have a lot of good memories from um, their growing up at BHS, and hopefully the new school will just be a better addition to that. Now, the school is being torn down due to PCB concerns that has led some people to worry about their health. Right now, there's an outstanding lawsuit by two staff, former staff members of the school who say their current health issues are directly tied to the PCB contaminations at the school. Now, last November, voters overwhelmingly passed a $165 million bond to pay for the $190 million school. If all goes well with construction and timing, they hope students will be able to be going to school here starting in fall of 2025. Live in Burlington, Katherine Huntley, Channel 3 News.